Hey everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to create a responsive navigation bar with only HTML and CSS. That's right. We don't need any JavaScript to create this responsive navigation bar. Before we move to coding, let me show you the working demo of this responsive navigation bar. I'm going to guide you through each step of the project. Don't worry about a thing because I'll be right here with you addressing any doubts or questions you may have. Just drop them in comments below. So without any further ado, let's get started. We begin with the HTML code. We start by creating a nav element which stands for navigation. Inside this element, we have a few elements that work together to create a functional and responsive navigation bar. First. We have an anchor element with the ID logo. This represents the logo of our website or our brand. It has a text content of my logo, an href attribute with the value hash home, which means that when clicked, it will navigate to home section of a web page. Next, we have an input element with the type of checkbox and ID set to hamburger. This checkbox is usually used to toggle a mobile menu. It will allow us to show or hide the navigation links on smaller screens. Following the checkbox, we have a label element with four attributes set to hamburger. This associates the label with the checkbox. Now Google font or some CDN and click on the first link. Copy the link tag and paste it in the head section of, of your HTML document. Now Google font us some icons and click on the first link. Search for hamburger or bars. Click on the bars icon. Scroll down below and copy the HTML code and paste it inside your label element. Finally, we have an unordered list containing several list items that is li tags. Each list item contains an anchor tag representing a navigation link. We have links for home, about, features, services and FAQ. The home link is given the class active which usually indicates the current active or selected page. These navigation links are set up with appropriate href attribute pointing to different sections of pages of a website using the hashtag symbol followed by the respective section or page identifier. Let's copy paste and change the href attributes and the names. You can see an unordered list being formed in the output. This is all the HTML code that we are going to need to create a responsive navigation bar. I hope the project so far has been clear and free of any doubts. In case you have any doubt in the HTML code, please do comment it below. Now moving on to CSS, we have a global selector which sets some initial styles for all the elements on the page. It resets the padding and margin to zero and sets the box sizing to border box. Moving on to the nav selector, we style the navigation bar itself. We set the font family to poppins and make it a flex container using display flex. This allows us to align the items within the navigation bar. We use align items to center to vertically center the items and justify content space between to evenly distribute the items along the horizontal axis. We set the background color to a shade of blue and set the padding to 1 em. Next, we target anchor elements inside the navigation bar. We set the text decoration to none and text transform to capitalize which makes the first letter of every word uppercase. We also set the color to white. Next, we target the logo and set its font size to 1.2 em and font width to 600 to make it stand out. The next thing we are targeting is our input type checkbox. 
we set its default appearance to none to hide it. This allows us to create a custom checkbox design. The label selector sets the display to none, hiding it visually. This label is associated with a checkbox and contains hamburger menu icon. The UL selector targets the unordered list inside the navigation bar. We remove the default list style using list style none and make it a flex container with display flex. We also add a gap of 1 em between the list items to add some spacing. The UL is selector styles anchor tags within the list items. We add padding of 0.5 em to provide some space around the link text. When hovering the navigation links, we change the background color to gray and add a border radius of 0.5 em. Next, the active class selector is applied to the currently active or selected page link. It adds a border bottom of 2px white. Lastly, we have a media query that targets screens with maximum width of 600px. Within this query, we make some adjustments to the mobile view of navigation bar. We display the label for checkbox using display block so that it is visible and can be clicked on you can see it is visible now let's try resizing the page next the unordered list is set to a font size of 1.2 em and its position is set to absolute. Let us make this go off screen by setting the left position to minus 100%. For a while, I'll comment it out so you can see what is happening right now. Next, we set the font direction to column and align items to center. Let's resize the page to see the menu. Now you can see a oddly positioned menu. We set the top property of the menu to the height of navigation bar. Let's go to inspect and see what's the height of the navigation bar. Here you can see it is 60px. Now let's go back and write 60px. If you want you can convert it to em but I'll leave it as it is right now. S now set the width to 100% and height to 100vh minus 60px which is the height of navigation bar. We remove the comments from left property of the ul tag and add a transition delay of 0.5 seconds. Next we target the ul element using the general sibling selector which is after the checkbox element which is checked. Now we set the left property to 0 to make the menu visible. I can sense something wrong being with the height of the menu. And yes, it should be 60px there. And now the menu slides in and out smoothly. Lastly, set the cursor to pointer. Additionally, we modify the font size, background color and dimensions of the list to optimize it for mobile screens. Let's see how it's done. We also need to set the justify content to center. Mm, that's quite perfect. Your responsive navigation bar is now ready. 
you can go ahead and customize it the way you like if you found this tutorial helpful please subscribe to my youtube channel if you have any doubts you can comment them below or just mail me your code and i'll help you fix it thank you for watching